So with it being the start of the new year, today we want to take a look, a look back at what happened in CSR in 2011, and then also uh, get an assessment for 2012. I know this is going to be a very interesting conversation and, and definitely looking forward to it. And so to kick us off, I uh, couldn't be happier than, than to be joined today by Amon Singh, who is one of the leading journalists in the CSR field. If I were looking back on 2011, I would say one of the biggest, most influential things that happened was the Mark Kramer, Michael Porter article on shared value. Um, what do you think was its impact? Did, did you see that as, as being influential? You know, I have come to believe in the past decade that it doesn't matter what you write, it matters where you mm -hmm. write it. Um, what they propose is a great concept because it really, like I said earlier, breaks it down for the C-suite, for the leadership to really understand and, and so to speak, get it. Um, you know, we've been talking about CSR and philanthropy and activism and shareholder value versus stakeholder value for a long time. And a lot of companies have been doing work on that for a long time. I will tell you this, that within our membership, the shared value debate was a serious debate. We, we have several companies that absolutely repudiate it. And a lot of people said, listen, if you do shared value, you may undercut the strategic value of corporate philanthropy of doing things for their own sake because then people will say, oh, you're just doing it for the, the business purposes. But you had the people on the other side of, of the debate saying, listen, corporate philanthropy is great as far as it goes and, and doing things for their own sake is part of what we do because nobody follows nine out of ten things that we do anyway. We've got to do it for our own sake. But if we don't tie it to the business, it is not sustainable in terms of there are so many different things competing for our attention and we have limited resources. And I don't, and what's interesting about a debate is when you, both sides have really strong, good, valid points, um, I think that, that debate is going to continue for 2012. Yeah, I mean, I agree, you know, and it, that's what I said, shared value really makes it easy for us to give the business, business case, so to speak. Right regardless of who's listening. Um, right. It gives us a common thread. And, and, so, then, and it's credible, too. Because right. people will say, OK, exactly. I get why that business is doing it, because it's in their wheelhouse. Exactly. And, and I think that what I saw on the transparency thing last year was companies starting to say, how can I make people who are not employees now, potential employees and employees who might be future employees in the future, still like us? Is that? Is, so are you seeing the transparency de debate being part of kind of an employee-centric thing more than before? Or are you still seeing it as the activist groups or the mm -hmm. customers or the investors? Well, there's definitely the external pull. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right to say that that dialogue is shifting internally. And, and a big part of that is because no one's really been hiring in the last three years. Um, so you have to focus on the group of employees you have. Uh, you have to focus on their growth, their development. We cannot get to a point where we have so many employees disillusioned with the economy that they just can't wait to leave. Um, that cannot be good for your innovation, that cannot be good for your long-term growth. And I think companies have come around to really understand that. Okay. 2012. What are, what are you seeing as, as kind of the big drivers for this year? Well, you know, the, it's, a, it's an election year. Yeah. So, oh, yeah? <laughs> um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I, I mean, for me, I think uh, for, from where I come in the communication and media uh, sector, I think storytelling is going to be a big, big trend. CSR reporting. Um, I can't even count how many of those came out last year, but I'm sure GRI will provide us with that number. But that, that'll be, for me, that'll be interesting. Um, the integrated reporting concept, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what goes with that. One of the things that we're seeing for 2012 is the rise of apps. That if 2011 was the year of Twitter, 2012 may be the year of the app. Agree or disagree? 
agree, but I but it remains to me to be seen how much they are resonating. Okay, fair enough. Because I think we tend to think of of smartphones as something that everyone has, and I don't think that's still true. I think there's a large population that whether it's the nonprofit or the corporate sector that they need to reach to, don't have it, have that. And then we created the Business for Good map, which is still kind of in beta. We announced it last year in October as well. We have already over 200 projects on that map. We've had over 27,000 visits to it already. We have a pipeline of several thousand projects that we still have to upload into it and we're already seeing some fascinating clusters and some fascinating patterns associated with it and I think that if 2012 is not the year of the app it will be the year of the map because just because our culture is becoming so much more visual yeah. than writing that people want to see how all of this stuff fits together and I think that the the mapping is a way for people to be able to say, okay, well, if you're, you're there, then I don't have to be there. I can, I can do this. Look at integrating all the efforts we do internally in our organizations, whether it's CSR reporting or volunteering or, or philanthropy or uh, sponsoring conferences where there's a lot of emphasis on technical assistance and pro bono. Um, I would really hope that companies integrate that more into their stories. Mm -hmm. Let's not keep it in silos. When we talk about something on CSR Wire, let's bring in the flavor. Let's really try and connect with our audience. Wow, that's a great, a great way to end.